Right then, let's see if we can get this fella done. This is the old Mega Machine Deluxe Monopoly, hailing from, I believe, this must be what, 1991, 1992, something like that. This machine is cracking on a bit. Um, just for completeness here, or, or for accuracy rather, I'm not running the six pound ROMs here that you can see in the layout. This layout here is the old uh, layout for this machine done back in 2005 by a uh, M1A Adnus design. It was a little bit of a, a riff on M1, the M1A B Tech name, uh, Retro Fruit back in the day, and that this was a layout that was released for mfme version 2 i believe and this this layout itself is going back to 2005 but the machine itself is going back far further than that to 1991 or 1992 now this layout was originally released running very late six pound roms and uh, retro fruit at the time i remember said that the six pound the late six pound roms played a much better game than the earlier six pound roms and the early four pound 80 roms and on that he was correct they they did massage how the game played how it how it sort of balanced itself out with real wins and features and how the feature played and it was a much better game on these late six pound roms however what we are interested in here is how the method was done on this machine and by the time that these roms were done it, it had been long chipped out because what I have running in this layout are an old £4 or an early £4.80 jackpot ROM revision. So these values here, your £3 plus repeat chance is actually 240 and your six pay your £6 jackpot is actually £4.80. And that is tokens. So what was the method on this machine? Well, method might be overselling it a bit because this is one of the naughty ones. This is one of the ones that could get you in trouble if you were caught doing it because this is a plugger. This is a machine that you had to plug. Now, just so we all know that we're talking about the same thing, what is plugging? Well, in simple terms, plugging uh, is when you turn off the machine at a very specific point in time. So you'd reach down to where the plug socket is and, and flick the switch or pull the plug if there was no plug, and then just flick the switch back or put the plug back in a few seconds later. The machine would boot up, and then once it had finished booting up, it, it had either done something or was going to do something that was beneficial to you as the player. I believe you could also spot spark them. I think people made little devices using uh, gas lighters and that kind of thing that you could spark them with around the metal surround of the uh, coin inputs here um, to get the same effect to reset the machine. What you're effectively wanting to do is reset the machine at a certain point in time and obviously turning it off and on again will have that effect. Now, and when do you want to do it on this machine? When you have a jackpot. Uh, and more accurately, a jackpot on the feature board. So what you need to do is get on the feature and you're generally going to get the jackpot one of two ways, which is by landing on the hotel on Regent Street here or getting to Mayfair. Both of those will award a jackpot. You can also get all four stations. That happens uh, more rarely, but that will also award you a jackpot as well. And then as soon as the jackpot starts counting up, if you remember on these old Mega machines, they played that. Da, 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 da. As soon as that starts and it starts. Uh, sorry, I wasn't actually intending to fucking sing, but you know, we, we all know the tune, don't we? So as soon as it starts playing the jackpot tune and your bank starts counting up 20, 40, 60, 80, you just turn the machine off as quickly as you can. So when, it, when it's literally got 20 or 40 P in the bank of your jackpot, you turn the machine off turn it back on again and when it boots up it's remembered that the last thing it did was pay a jackpot because you'll now have four pound 80 in the bank which it will proceed to pay out but that win is then free it's not accounted for so so Mega got their code a little bit out asked about face here and that the machine knew it had paid a jackpot so once it booted back up it gave you your jackpot your four pound 18 tokens but it didn't account for the win so the the state of play of the machine was completely unchanged so the idea was that you would do this several times over you keep getting your free four pound 80 jackpot which the machine was quite happy to give you because it didn't think it was paying anything out once you'd emptied it of tokens and the tt light would come on 
which is up there. I think there it is. Yeah, the TT light would come on. And then once you'd emptied the machine of tokens, you would then play back in. Because all you've got then, of course, is, you know, £30 worth of tokens, which is all fine and dandy, but it's not actual money. So at that point in time, you would then play the tokens back through to get as many cash wins as you possibly could. Or if you were in an arcade, you could go to other machines. Or if you're in a pub, you could go to the other machine or whatever. But... Uh, the way that this was explained to me was that you could then rinse the tokens back through and start taking cash wins, which the machine would be happy to give you by that point in time. So part when this was explained to me, a part of me thought, well, how realistic is it that you're going to keep turning a machine off and on again, you know, several times in the space of a few minutes? Surely that's going to be noticed and it's going to get you into trouble. But then I thought back to when this machine was new in 1991, 1992, and, and the kind of environment you'd find it, certainly in pub environments. And I think I've mentioned before that, of course, there were far more pubs back then. Pubs were everywhere. Um, any any area that you went to, there would be loads of pubs because so many have closed in the last 10 or 15 years. So there were pubs everywhere. They tended to be open all day and most of them would have two fruit machines. And quite often, and I'm thinking back to the pubs that I was drinking in back in 91, 92, and quite often the fruit machines were out of the way. They were off in like the games room where the pool two table was, or they'd be a, certainly away from the main bar area, tucked away in little alcove, something like that. Because quite often they didn't want them in the main area because the, they were quite noisy with all these toy coins and tokens clattering out of them all the time. And if the, if the machine had volume on it, that, that could annoy the locals and all that kind of thing. So it was quite often for the machines to be in sort of fairly out of the way locations. And thinking back to it, I say all those years ago, I, I reckon that there were a lot of pubs where yes, you probably could just get away with turning it off and turning it on again and turning it off and turning it on again. And nobody would be any the wiser. And of course, your pre-CCTV era as well here, I can't think back of any pubs or certainly not any number of pubs that had CCTV back in 91, 90, because oftentimes these days, of course, they will have CCTV directly over where they have the fruit machines and in other locations in the pub as well. But that wasn't the case, you know, 26 years ago. So I, I can imagine this being viable. Now, that's not to say that I ever did it. As I have said before, I never... Uh, th this is from, from, from my clueless old days, so I never knew about plugging or sparking or anything like that. So it's something that I never did for real back at the time, but it's something that has now sort of been explained to me in the emulator. So I'm going to have a go with it in the emulator and see how we do. As ever, I've got fresh stats here, so let's put, let's put a fiver in and get going and see how we do. So what we need to be doing here is getting onto the feature get onto the feature board and then if it kills us I'm going to hold no if it if it kills us on the on the feature so you get declared bankrupt off of a chance or anything like that you've got to do the same you've got to plug it which are, in the emulator I'm just going to be using control R to reset it but once you've got it feature happy you need to keep it feature happy so if it kills you you reset it uh, and or, or you plug it and you do the same if you get the jackpot so you've got to potentially be very quick to plug it so let's see how we get on here free parking thank you very much oh no right so i may have to reset it here if i don't roll a double i've got to reset it straight away or plug it no reset there we are reset and re in real life i've just um i've just plugged it i've just turned it off I'm going to turn it back on again. It's going to come back up and it should now be in that boarding state. It should, as I understand it, uh, quickly let me back onto the board. Or I think if you could spark these as well, I believe. Uh, chap did indicate to me that he sparked a few of these back in the day and blew some of them up as well in the process. Because I would imagine that these machines didn't say too kindly to constantly having their power cycle or certainly having been zapped by some bucket. <laughs> I would imagine that the power supply and some of the internal components would find that. Uh, oh my god. Oh fuck. What did I press then? I, I panicked. Let's let's. Just, oh dear. I wouldn't. I don't think. I, I don't think I'd make a very good plugger in real life. Oh no! What if I press now? Oh, I've gone into. I've gone into edit mode. That's what I've done. Sorry. Jeez, come on, Degsy, get it together. Let's come out of edit mode. Oh Christ on a bike. Well, if this is. Oh, what if I done? 
Oh, for God's sake, you fucking idiot. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly keeping cool under pressure here, am I? I don't... Oh, for God's sake, dragging it around like an absolute... Uh, right, there we are. I think that's back, is it? Can, can we try that again? So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that in any kind of real-world scenario, I'd, I'd have been well and truly caught already. There we are. So that, that's about back to where we were, I think, isn't it? I hope I got it quick enough, then. I, I don't know what... I, I obviously pressed... Uh, did I press Control d or something as well? Does, does that put you straight into design mode? Maybe it does. Anyway, I'll I'll try and be a little bit more uh, get a little bit of finesse into this. Let, let's go around the board. Come on, we only put a fiver in up to now, so I hope. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? Oh, advance! Now we go there. See there. As soon as it starts now, watch what happens when it comes back up. It's going to cab the four eighty in the bank and it's going to pay it out. But bless it. It doesn't know it's paid anything out. So that was another plug or another spark there. And obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to be seen doing this. Um, I guess you'd have to be sensible about whether or not the pub that you were in or the arcade that you, you were in, whether or not that was a viable plugging location. Because if you got seen doing this... That was only going to end one of, you know, kind of three ways. You were going to get barred, you were going to get punched in the head and barred, or the police were going to get called. So you definitely wouldn't want to be seen doing this. This is this is obviously very much on the... What's it going to give us here? That should be a jackpot, shouldn't it? I think that counts. Collect jackpot. And so we're going to go... There we are. So this is very much on the shady end of the spectrum with, with a lot of these other things like the super pots uh, or money, money, money. That's fine. You're just playing the machine and anyone who's watching you will just see that you are playing the machine. I mean, yes, fair enough. They, they might be unhappy that something's going on that shouldn't be happening, but ultimately you're not doing anything wrong. So, so the worst that's going to going to happen to you is you're going to be asked to leave. Maybe they say you know you can't play the machines in here anymore, something like that. But it's not going to get you into to. Hopefully, it's not going to get you. Oh, there we are. It'll be another one, won't it? Because it's, it's got to give me and do. You know th that's not going to get you into any trouble. But if if you're seeing turning a machine off and on, and every time you do it, you know it, the machine spits out a load of tokens. Yeah. That that that's that's gonna it's gonna get you noticed and it's gonna get you in trouble. So you, you you're on to the uh, slightly nefarious side of things here. I mean, I didn't know about plugging all those years ago. Would I have done it if I had if I had known and I thought I could get away with it? Hmm, possibly, possibly, possibly. If 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 you knew that there was money to be made, you might just chance your arm on it. Wouldn't like to have to give a... Oh, no, that, that might kill me. Go to jail. Wouldn't like to have to give a definitive answer on that. Are we going to get out? No, so we reset it again. I mean, you can see. You can see what the idea is here. It's You just keep going around doing this as often as, as you dared, I suppose. I mean... That the chap who explained it to me said said that you know the goal really would be to take all the tokens out of the machine, run run it empty of tokens, and get a load of cash wins, and and leave the machine you know well and truly uh, dead. You know that oh where's that not not again? Go to jail. I'll just give it a go at running a double. Oh there we are we're out out of jail. Very good. Let's carry on around. I, mean, I would hope it's kind of, you know, going to be... There we are, that'll do. So, jackpot award, and again, exactly the same. Da, 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 reset. And it spits out more tokens. I bet a few machines got fried this way, because... As someone who used to own pinball, real pinball tables, the, the, the time when things broke on, on the pinballs was when you power cycled them, was when you turned them on. That, that was when components tended to fail, and I would imagine that fruit machines didn't take very kindly to having to be turned off and on so many times in quick succession, and certainly not to being sparked, and yeah, that, the guy did say that they, they kind of blew a few of them up. 
back in the day, and at which point you just had to kind of turn the machine off because it would start doing some crazy shit. You'd have to just turn it off and quickly ex exit stage left. Now, is that going to give me a two or a three? Let's have a look. If it gives me a... Bastard. I was hoping it would give me another jackpot there. And yeah, Mega did fix this, as I understand it, uh, by the end of the £4.80 era and certainly by the £6 era. And this wasn't uh, ju this wasn't unique to their to this machine it was a bit of a mega problem as i understand it that quite a few of these things if you could just effectively um, reset them at the start of the jackpot sequence and it would just keep coming back i think pink pink panther was another one that was mentioned and that, that would have been around this era come on oh yeah that'll do we'll have that and uh, da, 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 da. so you can see how they're, they're mounting up now um, i've put nine quid in and i guess what you would do you, um, well, would, would you be putting the tokens back in as you go? I guess that would make sense. You, you would just keep putting, you would put the tokens back in rather than putting your own money in once you've got them. Because it's only costing you a pound or two. For, yeah, if it's only costing you, you see there, if you're getting on the feature of every pound. So yeah, you just put a pound of tokens back in and get another 480 out, I suppose. And you could just keep doing that until there were none left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and again. So we're, we're well outside normal parameters, so you, I, I think it's quite easy to see now that these, these jackpots are free. The machine just has no idea that it's spitting them out. You know, you, we'd be looking very shiftily around the pub, wouldn't we? Just, just you know, you'd, you'd probably have a lookout for this. This, this, this would be a two-man job, I think. You'd probably have a someone running sort of lookout and distraction whilst whilst you got down to the serious business of hosing the machine. I'd imagine that you'd have an accomplice for this. It would be a, like, yeah, it would be a bit of a team effort. Okay, where are we going with this? That's going to be a community chest. Let's have a look. I'm ready on the reset in case it... Oh, da ah, you have to do that. We'll give it a go to get out of jail. Yeah, and we're out. Good. Well, hopefully we'll just land on the hotel or something next time. Okay. Oh, one more station would do. One more station. Landing on the station, would that would be fine also. We're obviously not going to collect three pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No need. Give it another go. And we're out again. Well done. No jail has been built that can hold me. Right. Let's, go. Let's have another crack at it. Uh-oh. Oh, f really? We're going we're gonna to do that, are we? That, that, that's, that's how you want to play. Oh, fuck off. Right, reset. So I, thought I, was, I thought I was in front of the jackpot then. Let's spin it back round again. Um, now, as I understand, oh, I can't get real rent. I think you can take real wins because oh, oh, but sorry, I pressed the wrong one there. I, I did. I was a little bit hasty. That was premature nudging there. I'm afraid. As I understand it, you, real wins come out of a separate pot, so you should be able to keep. You should be able to take real wins when they're kind of offered, and it shouldn't affect the the feature coming back. Okay, wait. Just was I. Well, there we are. It is coming back. So, a fairly straightforward one. I mean, there's not a huge amount to it. It doesn't require much in the way of finesse, that's for sure. Ah, and there we are, that's another one. And... Da, 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 da. Well, I don't know how many tokens these held in the tubes, because we are, of course, back in the tube days here, so... Don't know what would have been in them. Th 30 quid in tokens, 40 quid in tokens, maybe. Something like that. Uh, and if you look at my stats for the session here, uh, let's let's go to a profit and loss. I'm, I'm £21 ahead in tokens. But you would still have to do something with these tokens to, to, to turn them into cash. So, shall we have a gamble? Oh, really? Okay. Th thought that might win. Maybe I should have just taken uh, Winspin. I suppose it would make sense to hold close to the feature like that. No. Well, 
slightly annoying. It's kind of... Oh, go on. Oh. Well, if I can't get the feature, maybe I should just take real wins and that that may won't affect us. So I'll just exchange for whatever that money belt. Oh, bollocks. That was very... £1.60, dearie me. Should have done better than that. I think the most you can get on that is 240 isn't it? If it's all 60s all the way across. I'll have that. Okay, collect. No hold after nudge for a Jackie, unfortunately. And then I'll maybe just get one more jackpot out of it, and then we'll, we'll see if we can maybe get a few cash wins out of it. Thanks for, okay, we definitely want three here. There we are. And da da da. And it kind of beggars belief that, that some of these things were just so simple that all you needed to do was get a machine jackpot happy, which is not difficult when the jackpot's, you know, £4.80, and then just turn the machine off and on again. It's... It does, does kind of show some, some, some weaknesses in the coding and the design of these machines, that there are methods like this which... Okay, this, this one is obviously dodgy, but nonetheless, you, you'd, it's the kind of thing that you'd have perhaps expected them to, to test or, 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 you know, picked up in, the, in their own sort of quality assurance before they push these things out the door. But apparently not. That might kill me. Go back. Well, that's not very useful, is it? Go back to Old Kemp Road. Let's see if we can get another Jackie out of it. Any, any chance? No, no. Don't give me a three. There we are. That's another one. There. Well, I don't think we. we... <laughs> <laughs> There's a limit to how many of these you really need to do, isn't there? And I guess you would hit the point at which the machine was running out of tokens. I don't I don't think we'd be there yet on the real machine, but um like I say, dunno, thirty quid, forty quid, something like that that they held in them. It's uh, a little bit of a dubious one. I, I like to think I would have had the, the moral fibre not to have exploited this if I if I had known about it back in the day myself, but realistically I suspect I may have succumbed to the dark side of the force. Oh bollocks. Because, you know, if if there's if there's Oh shit, and I didn't reset it, I was too slow. Oh it feature just came straight back anyway. I mean it must get to a point of happiness where it doesn't matter if you reset it or not, I think the the feature's just always gonna be there really. Because as far as this machine is concerned, it's been it's taken eight, 18 quid and hasn't paid out a penny. Okay, well, any more for any more? Yeah, there we are. One more. And then I think that the idea is that with these tokens, you would then either... I guess if you're in an arcade, you might just go for another machine. If you're in a pub, maybe try the other machine. Or just play them back through. Because the machine would be empty of tokens. The only thing it could give you then were cash wins. We're not going to have that on the emulator because the, the tubes are always full. I guess what we could do to, to kind of simulate that is if we go into... And then, is it 26? Now let's do that and reset it again. Now then, what that should do there... Yeah, can you see now that the TT light's on? That means that the token tube the machine now thinks that its token tube is empty so let's just uh so as, as far as the machine is concerned now its token tube is empty so all it can do is pay out cash wins so on, on a real machine you could get it like this obviously it, well that can't be there can it because it would not allow me to nudge in a jackpot if it's got no tokens and this was something, well, we'll just take that. This is something that the that real fruit machines did, of course. Once the, once the token tubes were empty, the machine would then effectively block all token wins because it knows that its token tube is empty. And at that point, it will only pay out cash wins. So on this machine, that is up to £2.40. And, and what this one does is, because it can't let you get to sort of Park Lane or, or these things here that are worth more than two, Park Lane Mayfair, stuff that's worth more than um, 
two pound forty. What what it will tend to do is just give do that exactly that. It will just give you two pound forty plus repeat chance straight off the the chances or the community chest. No repeats, slightly unfortunate. So again, this this is kind of simulating on on the real machine what what you could do, which was then just play it down. I guess realistically, I'd, I'd actually be playing with, with tokens here. And, and try and take the value out of it on cash. Which it doesn't seem particularly happy to do. So, I think that's about all we need to see for this one, really. Uh, have we got anything there? Uh, how much have I won? I've not won a huge amount. And I've, I've probably not done it entirely perfectly. I'm, oh, well, that's got to be bars, hasn't it? So... He said confidently as it's exactly five nudges away. There we are. It always had a ruthless high-low gamble list. There was, oh, cash part. I mean, it plays the funky music. Dun, 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 dun. There we are, two pound plus repeat. I always found the high-low gamble on the on the, these Maygays incredibly harsh. Where they, they just love to uh, kill you on tens and elevens and twos and threes. But there we are. But actually, this couldn't kill you on a two, could it? Because... It's got to spin at least two input. You know what I mean. Well, I've made a, a fairly tidy little profit there. I'm, I'm 32 quid up. Well, that's, well, let's do that. Shall we have that? Let's see, let's do uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay, do we risk one more gamble or not? Monopoly, go on. Just, yeah, there we are. £2.40 plus repeat. So that's Deluxe Monopoly done, and as I say, it also applied to a few other Maygays. I don't know the, the complete list, but all of them were vulnerable. Well, that's nice to repeat. All of the, oh, all of them, several of the, the Maygays of this era were vulnerable to this. So if you were naughty enough, and you were happy to do a little bit of plugging or sparking, and you didn't mind blowing the odd machine up and leaving behind you a trail of carnage, this may have been the method for you. That was a nice little uh, £2.40 repeater, wasn't it? But I can say that my conscience is clear because I never did this back in the day. As I say, whether that was because I didn't know about it or I wouldn't have done it will we'll leave to the sands of time to make up their mind on that. But I have, certainly by the time I've collected this, uh, so it can't give me a go to Mayfair. Are we going to get out of jail? No. So there we are. And, and that would then represent a, a reasonable profit. I mean, let, let's bear in mind that this machine would have been played, you know, what, 26 years ago. So you can see there my profit on the session there. And I suspect there's still a bit more in it yet. I, I would have cleared 40, what were we up to, 44 pound? Yeah, 44 pound 60 I'd have cleared on this. Obviously, the slight mishmash of, of tokens and cash, but nonetheless... It's easy to see how you could make a decent chunk of cash on machines once you're able to kind of take endless free jackpots out of them, but through the rather dodgy machination of plugging. So that's Deluxe Monopoly. Uh, if you want these ROMs, by the way, uh, as with everything that I show on the channel, these aren't out of some secret hoard. Or anything like that. Um, a lot of these ROMs apparently have been around for, for, for a long time, but people just tend not to pay much attention to them. Uh, if you do want a copy of these ROMs, just, just drop me a PM, uh, any of the Fruit Machine emulation forums, and I'll send them on to you, and you can load the ROMs into this layout and, and give a go of, with them yourself. But I will say that uh, the emptier aside, and this whole resetting it and getting your free win, the ROMs that Retrofruit chose to release with this layout back in 2005, the £6 jackpot ROMs, do actually play a better game. But if you want to try this, you will need these early £4.80 ROMs, which I am happy to share. So just drop me a message if you want them. But there you go. That's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I would like to see you next time. But that's it for now. Goodbye and thank you for watching.